All right. Welcome back to the Rat Cave. Um, got a Nami game here. And um, yeah, welcome back. So I'll start off, I guess, talking about this Nami build. This Nami build is, I don't think this is a standard Nami build, um, but I got this build from uh, this guy. Oh, what's his name? It's, I think his name is Hector. He's part of like the uh, the, the League Guides channel. I, I'll link the you know I'll I'll give him credit in the in, just in the description if you want to see his video for this build. And I'll I'll put some some icons for for my runes and stuff. Um, you can actually see them down in the uh, you know in the character tab. Um, if you want to know for sure, but I'll also, you know, I'll, I'll link all the info for it in the description so you guys can see. Um, but this build is absolutely fantastic. It doesn't really translate to, you know, it doesn't really translate onto paper like you would think things would. You know, you're not going to do a crazy amount of damage. You're not going to show up uh, on the stat page outside of assists. But the impact you actually feel with this build is so satisfying. Um, so you get the standard support item. Um, I run down and I warded that bush to, you know, the old Korean ward for a little extra presence. Um, this guy calls for a level 2 gank, which we'll see how this works out. Um, your boy can't hit a single Q on Nami. Um, and if you watch my Thresh video, this becomes a bit of a trend, isn't it? I can't hit any skill shots. Wrong. Well, you're right, but also wrong. Um, I can hit some skill shots. As you see, okay, we missed. Of course we did. Um, but anyway, so we got a flash out. This is how we just start every game. We just get a flash out. I don't love starting Q um, as Nami, but I mean, as we miss another. It's just who I am. It's just who I am. I can't hit anything. I prefer to start W. It helps for trading better, in my opinion. Um, so I prefer not to have Q. And you can see pretty early on, I am... Oh, we make up for it, though. You know how we do on this channel. We make up for it. I never miss except for when I do, but when I don't miss, I hit. All right? Take that one to the bank with you. Remember that. So I should be playing up a little farther because we're pretty close to level 2. I waste my bubble. I'm not going to have it now for the level 2 push, which is unfortunate. So we have to sit back a little bit. And I go W here, I'm pretty sure this is what I should be doing. We have a lot of presence early on, because you know, I can kind of I can bully Alistar for the most part. As long as we just kind of avoid his combo. I can bully him with with uh, autos whenever he walks up to, to get cannons and stuff. Which is nice. Um, and this is of course the classic Lucian Nami bot lane. Is it Lucian or Lucian? I always wondered that. I hear people say both. I always say Lucian, but I could be wrong. I've never claimed to be, uh, you know, the greatest at, at getting names right. So I'm checking for wards here. They have no wards in this bush, so I can honestly just kind of sit here. Of course, I, I stood outside of it, which, you know, kind of gave everything away. I do at least hit the ward. I mean, hit the hit the Q. But my Lucian gets knocked into the turret, so a bit of a wishy-washy trade there. I think we came out on top, so that's cool. If I was level 3, we probably could have killed there. And at this point, four minutes, I have my eyes on the minimap. I see Echo Top, so I'm still not worried. Um, but before we saw him, I was a little worried. So I feel like around four minutes bot lane, if they don't level 2 gank you, you're going to start to see him. So I always get my eyes peeled for that. Um, one thing I'm not... I don't feel like I'm doing well at this point in the game is harassing. I think I could be standing a little closer and casting W and, and getting hits off on him. Um, so I'm getting some autos, which is fine. Stacking up my, my ward item. Or my support item, whatever you want to call it. Honestly, I'm I'm staying I'm staying pretty frosty down here in, in, in bot lane, which it's a change, isn't it? It's a bit of a change. So we hit the back. 
back at the same time. Don't stagger your backs, because you're going to have a bad time if you stagger your backs. I go by Dark Seal. This is the first key of this build. You buy Dark Seal every single game, and you build me uh, Medjai's every single game, no matter what. You know, if you, even if you're feeding, you, you buy it. Um, yeah, I got my Dark Seal. And we're a walking our way back. Um, I do have boots. I feel like maybe I should have pathed mid, especially since they're backing. But one thing I find is that I have trouble keeping my levels up. And I think that's what I'm doing at this point. I think I'm roaming down here just to soak in this wave, because this wave is huge. I mean, that's a lot of creeps I'd be missing out if I had roamed. Maybe I roam now. I don't. Yeah, so I'm definitely that's that's my mindset at this point. I'm I'm soaking up as much XP as possible. Um, this guy pings dragon, and I'm a little reluctant to go over there because I don't want them to know that that uh, that we're doing dragon. He's calling for help. I probably should have stood over the wall. I think they're they're gonna know either way. I ping him on the way. I'll give this guy a couple heals if I can. Probably should have gone over a little sooner. But we at least secure the dragon, and, you know, it's fine. You live and you learn. Oh, and I should say this is a this game was a couple weeks ago. This was patch 13, I think this was 13.1. Um So I don't believe Nami and Lucian, I think they I believe Riot gave gave this combo a little bit of a nerf. And I'll be honest, I don't even think the nerf matters. I think Nami is just consistently strong and will always be strong. Her kit is just too... I don't know, it's, it's, it's a lot like Thresh's kit. Where it's just... Uh, the utility is just so good. So I'm trying to line up a bubble here. Seeing if they walk into it. Didn't happen this time. No big deal. Kind of a kind of a bit of a quiet game so far. It's two to two. Um, there was something I was gonna I was gonna mention. Now I can't think of what I was gonna say. See this Lucian? He's he's chomping at the bit. He wants me to hit something, and I want me to hit something too. Look at it. We line it up. Could be a kill here. Good God, this guy gets away. I flash. Thought I had the last tick, it didn't work out. Unbelievable. So a little unlucky bot lane, that probably should have been a kill. I honestly... There's, always another way. there's an argument you could make that it's worth me diving under there to try and get the kill, but, you know, I chose to play it safe in this in this scenario. Action, action top lane, Echo has really left us alone the entire game, which may be a mistake on his part. <laughs> I gotta hit that Q. I've absolutely got. If I hit that Q, that is a kill. Oh, it's just so unfortunate. It's just so unfortunate because maybe this is the same for everybody, but this Nami Q is impossible to hit. I've never been able to hit this thing. I stop here. I figure what happens. I don't have enough for ult. I've inted us. I got us killed. Major mistake on my part. Oh. Major mistake on my part. I... I, I completely baited my teammate. I'm sorry, Lucian. I know he was... I know he was raging, too. He had to have been raging after that, because he pinged me away to back, and then... <laughs> and then we stay, and he, gets, he dies because of it. And I somehow live. Um, but I have ulti. That's just a really unfortunate predicament um, for that Lucian. But I see, I see um, Yi making his way down here. This has got to be a gank. If they don't, you know, this has got to be a kill. We got to get back into this. He's just, he's charging right in. And they're gone. <clears throat> so I think what I probably should do is let, let me analyze the map. Always analyze the map. 
Yeah, I was gonna say, I'm probably roaming up for vision here. There's not a whole lot else to do in lane. I ward just... I love that ward there. I think it's a pretty obvious ward, but I still do it every single game. Just because I think it gives great, great vision. So I'm looking mid for a kill. Don't think the opportunity is really there. I probably could have gone around and maybe gotten an assist, but didn't happen. Okay, I ping my ignite. So I probably we should probably come down here and initiate this. This guy. Look at I ping it out. I had a feeling he was coming. I had a feeling he was coming. But God, the question is, can we turn this? We have Yi coming in. Can can Lucian stay alive long enough? Yeah, we'll get it done. A random Q bubble. Good God. But we got assists. Two pings on our uh, on our ring, our ring of death. And that's the whole key to this thing. That's the entire key. You build that thing, you build Mandate, you build Mage Eyes, and then you build Rabadon's Death Cap if you can. And you you absolutely stomp. You'll see. You'll see later on in the game. It's like you you W somebody, and it's like they get slowed. It's like they they start walking. They're running, and then they it's like they got shot in the leg. Oh, but at least we're you know we're getting you know he's positive. I like that. He's positive. We're getting everything bot side, which is right. Getting collapsed on a little bit, but you know nothing you can do about it. We're 100% taking this dragon. It's completely ours. Echo is is missing in action. This guy's insane if he actually tries to contest this. I see they're looking for a little bit of a uh, a little bit of that, a little bit of a wombo combo. Um, but I think the team should be able to turn this around a little bit. Alistar is just a, a literal tank. This guy's not taking any damage. Saves Yi there. <laughs> oh, God. You got all of that. <laughs> the banter goes on in chat. Uh, it is what it is. Buy my wards and head back to lane. Um, do we dare continue the the red the the red ward pink ward discussion yet again? I think because they had a Rangar, I, I decided it's gonna be worth it's gonna be There's worth buying pinks all game. I'm still back and forth on that. I've well, I, of course, I grew up in the uh, the season two support ward bot era, where that's all you were. You just ran around the map placing wards, and you go back and you buy more wards. So I'm kind of used to just throwing down a thousand wards a game and spending a you know fifteen hundred gold on wards on pink wards, which is probably not a good idea. I try to do it less on this build because it's it's pretty it's pretty heavy on how much money you need. Throughout the the uh, throughout the uh, the ult, and I felt like that was a pretty good ult. We got to get a kill off this. Oh. Beautiful play by uh, by Zaya there. And in better circumstances, maybe I... I don't know, maybe I think I play that better. I think I should ward over the wall and see Alistar first before he, he walks into me. It didn't happen that way. Heal up in the bush. We're good to go. Echo's bot side. I'm walking up to help ye. He completely fails. I hit a Q. I know he wasn't expecting it because I can't hit Qs, uh, and luckily we get the kill there. So back bot side, they're 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 rummaging through our tower. They've they've pillaged it for as much gold as they can. Um, and I think we. I don't want to say we're losing bot lane. It's probably even, but it definitely feels like we're losing. Alistar is such a hard lane to play against because he's, he's he's so big. He's such a problem. I just mean he's fat. He just feels like he's in the way. You try and walk past, you try to get to his, his carry, and you can't even walk past the guy. Top lane, who knows what's happening top lane? It's an absolute adventure up there. Katarina's up there dying. 
It's it's out of control. Rangar's getting ahead. This is this is Cassante pre-nerf, I believe. Pre-nerf. Rangar's begging for a little more love. He'll get it. He'll get it. He likes it. And here's the thing I, I don't know if if Well actually I do know this. I do know that lower ranked supports are not um, they're not switching to red trinket fast enough in my opinion. So here's how here's here's what I think of it. You place one yellow trinket and then you then you sell it, because that thing takes forever. That's what I've heard. It takes forever to come back. And it's true. I mean it, it really does take forever. Um, and by doing that, you have presence in the lane. Alstar can't walk up. I don't know if he switched yet. He might have already switched at this point in the game. But I notice very often in my games. Um, and I think this game was probably a Silver 4 game. Um, I'm recording periodically, so the first Thresh game, if you watch that game, I believe I was in bronze kind of playing Silver. This is probably like a Silver 4, 3, maybe some 2 sprinkled in. Um, but that's kind of the lobby we're in. Uh, and I'm just not seeing people buy buy red trinkets fast enough. I see him hold on to that yellow trinket a couple times. And I think it's, you know, I think it's pretty proven that it's more beneficial to just lay it down and, and get red. Because <clears throat> at least you can roam that way. You can do a whole lot more with it. Here's another piece of advice for myself. I think I should aim my vision bushes a little better. It feels like I just kind of run down there and I just kind of see, like, I just go and hit it and it goes where it goes. I mean, I guess that's valuable vision to have, but maybe, you know, going over the war uh, blue section is, is better. I'm not sure. But we should have, I believe we should have another, another drag here. I can, there we go. I have my abilities. We, did we get drag? We didn't get dragged. A little bit of flame going into Lucian. Maybe he should have walked over. He definitely probably should have. We probably win that with him. Um, so we lose Dragon there. That's a pretty big misstep on our part. Um, God, if we had a, a third drag at this point in the game? That's crazy. Rengar is running over Cassante. How is that possible? Um, I don't know. No idea how either of those champs work. I can't play any of them. Catch me in Aram playing Rengar, it's, an, it's a free loss. You can guarantee that. Just log out. Log out now. So I've, I've bot lane tower's gone. There's really no reason for me to be down there. Um, all right, we're back. We dropped it. We, uh, laptop was dying. Recording on a laptop and it was dying, so we, I, I, I'll edit that out. I'll, I'll fix it because. Um, all right. Anyway, we're back. Okay. So Rengar's coming in. I get Goomba stomped. I actually survived for quite a while. We should we should be able to clean up here after we lose everybody. Echo gets out. Bit of a tough game. I was pooped on. Um, and Echo's definitely a problem. Rengar's a problem. <laughs> we mute everybody. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it. I'm not having it anymore. I'm angry. I don't want to hear them the rest of the game. That's what I decided. <laughs> the guy's name is Nerd Rage, which is, uh, yeah, that's funny. Um, so I go bot to kind of, I don't, I don't know if I should have. This doesn't feel great. I think I should be going up warding around uh, Rift Herald. That's probably what I should be doing. But I get a couple. I get I get a, myself a farm and a ward, so it's worth it. And possibly we can find a kill here. I do remember this game being quite a challenge. I mean, this was a slugfest, just back and forth. Of, and I remember this this Alistar was clearing wards like crazy. I might have ended this game with like uh, I think uh, at least over a hundred vision score. You can fact check me on that one if you if you so choose. 
All right, but I'm making. I'm, I, I gotta. I'm a little afraid to push up in division here, um, because they're pushing down mid. They're either gonna go right or left. They're not gonna stay in mid. It looks like they they likely went over that way. So trying to collapse on this to help out, and we don't make it in time. But I should I should be able to get some wards over this way. I don't do it. I think I need to be running with Yeed to get vision over Baron. Ult comes out. Alistar knocks me into the other team. We're still doing okay. Manage a couple kills. I hit a Q. Alistar misses. Well, I don't know what he just W'd onto. Maybe a minion? I do get the kill. Oh, and here's the nice thing about this build. It's okay. It's okay to take the kills. It's okay. At least at the start. You know, at least kind of early. Because I gotta build up my ring here. I believe I actually have enough for Mage Eyes at this point, so I should be probably backing to get this. I drop a pink because I'm afraid of Rengar coming in. Oh, and look at this. Oh, it doesn't get better than that. That pink, while it's kind of wasted, 100% worth it. Oh, I'm hitting, I'm hitting cues like my life depends on it. And I get another kill. This is best case scenario right now. I'm getting absolutely massive. 1800 gold, I'm backing, I don't care if they see me. I'm flexing. I get my mage eyes, we're set. We're absolutely set. So I'm weighing my options here. I'm looking Ardent Sensor. It's probably what I would buy if I was a bad player. But luckily this guide was telling me uh, not to buy it at that, at, you know, next. I'm going for Abaddon's next, I believe. So I'm saving my gold. So we're caught on vision here. We're, we're trying to make a dragon play. We are pretty decently set up for vision. We don't have Rengar's top, so this should be free. Echo comes in. I have a pretty poor ulti, but it hits him on the way back. Still a poor ulti. Um, but we walk away with a, with a Alistar kill. I want Baron off of this. The, other, the rest of the team is not in sync, but I want Baron right off of that. And in my opinion, it's the right play. Especially after this. That is a Baron play to me. We have zero wave up here. I think I, I, think I made the right call. I think pinging Baron was the right call. But the rest of the team didn't seem to agree, so we, we sit up here and we wait for this wave, and I don't think we even get the tower. An enemy has been um, if you can kind of turn a dragon play, you get a pick or you get a kill off of it, you you can go force a Baron, I feel like. Sure, it comes down to your, to your jungler being able to hit smite or even have smite, um, which that's always the problem, though. You know, that, that, that happened on, on, on even free Barons. But I think that's the right call there. I think we take Baron and we we go shove top lane right after that. Oh, and Cassante was able to kill, he was able to solo kill Rengar. That's, we should, we 100% should have gone Baron. I don't care what anyone says. We got nothing off of that. We got Dragon, then we got nothing. The team is, is... Degrading the other team, you know, classic League of Legends, it is what it is. If you're not having, if you're not making everyone else's time miserable, you're not playing. Oh, I wish we had done this. At this point, we're, we're on hold here. Throw out a blind Q, you know, maybe you hit him, maybe you're able to play something off of that, but... Uh, it didn't happen to hit. Rangar is on the way. I thought for sure I was a dead, I was a dead man. I don't know what he ulted for. But I lose my pink. Oh, he's going after Lucian mid. Uh, Lucian does die. I throw out an ult, and oh, Nami is Nami is so oppressive in these these tight angles. 
a bit of a miscommunication on our team's part here. Um, we get one kill out of it, but we lost three. It's a bad trade. It's a pretty poor trade. The only the only nice thing is they can't really do much else, and I completely get outplayed. I didn't think he'd be able to kill me, so I was I disrespected him. I paid for it. I was punished. Um, but yeah, we are definitely getting awkward fights. We're gonna randomly ult him. I don't know. You know, I don't know what's going through her mind on that one. But I think what we should be trying to do, especially with this team comp of Yi and Katarina, is we gotta be fighting in jungle. Because if we can get in jungle, Nami with her ults is so oppressive in the jungle. If you throw one R, one tidal wave down down a, a narrow pathway, Swim against the they're, they're, they're screwed, especially against Katarina Yi. I mean, there's nothing they can do. Um, I will say their team comp was built pretty nice to counter Katarina and Yi, Alistar is a big problem for them. Because if they go in and they get queued, it's like it's game over. Um, so we just need to try and fight in the river, in the jungle. In their mom's house, wherever, wherever we have to be. That's not open down the middle. Oh, he's just in a bad spot. Just in a real bad spot. And then... You know, I I come to try and help. I was gonna ult. It didn't feel like it was worth it, so I saved it. Uh, but this game has become very hard very fast. We're still in decent shape. We've only died four times. We have 12 of 23 kills. We're at 50% kill participation. We're not doing horrible. We're providing value. And that's all that can really be asked. Um, but we gotta make a play. We gotta catch somebody... Possibly Rangar. Get some hits on him. I'm afraid to go ward. If I ward, I die. If I if I leave my team, I die. I wanted to queue over the wall there. It's a little wonky. Lay down the pink. My pink doesn't reach. They perfectly place that. It's like they knew. We're we're lining up for a crazy fight here. They were going to push in. I think they push in if I don't hit my Q. But we should have a... We have an even fight. We should be able to make this work. And I think this is definitely right on us. I, I'm positioned pretty weird. I throw the tidal wave down. I think it's a, I think it's actually a great wave. It separates them off. I pop my trinket for Rengar. He's spotted on pink wards. There's nothing he can do. Team cleans it up. This should be another free drag. Well, oh, I survived. Beautiful. It gets a little dicey. We fall off drag. Oh, beautiful. Free drag. That actually, the, the, the fight worked out great. As bad of a setup as that was, it, it worked out great. I think my ult was... Probably not maybe the best, but it at least zoned them enough that I think it was... I think it helped. Get that key third drag, and at this point I gotta back... See, I'm building towards Rabadons. Um, so I back... I, sh I should buy at least one... at least one pink. Which I do. Against the Rengar, I like to have at least... at least one on me at all times. Because the guy is a pain and he's just an absolute pain. So I'm making my way towards Baron. I should be a little careful here. We have no vision. They could be over here. That ward is fresh. And I should be aware of that. I got to get at least something down in the in the in the Baron pit so we know. You know, we know if they start it. So 29 minutes in, it's neck and neck. The gold is close to even. Three drags for us, two drags for them. And they're pushing up for Cat. And I'm just sitting in the bush waiting for an opportunity here. And I see it here, I, I blow my Q. Absolute, just a horrible Q. 
Cat dies. She really should have seen that. That's a that's a pretty bad pick for us. Um, but Echo goes in. We could try and force some kind of a fight here. Is there a little split? Lucian's playing way crazy by himself up there. I think we have a good opportunity at a fight here. Get a decent ult out. As long as I can try and peel for my team, which I don't. <clears throat> Turns out it wasn't a decent fight. We got we got brutalized bad. Straight up aced. I'm down to we do get an assist, which restores our our mage eyes there. Tough game. I think at this point we're losing. The gold says it's even on the scoreboard. The scoreboard gold says it's even. I don't think it is, especially if they get they're able to get this tower. Cat's a madman, goes in. Almost gets two kills. They ace us again. I'm the next up. I'm not gonna be able to do that. I'm gonna swim I'm gonna swim my ass over there and, and look at him menacingly. So they're definitely ahead in gold now. We're, we're losing this game. No way he wants this. That was definitely that was a big int. A big int. I want I all game I want Baron. All game. We've had opportunities to to take Baron. And we just killed two key members of their team. This is this has got to be Baron. I think this is another fine Baron call. But my team is reluctant, and I, you know, I don't blame them because this game is pretty wishy-washy. It's very possible we go there, and we just and we lose Baron. But I, th I still think the call is good. I still think the call is is the right call. So that's that. What I just put down is a Baron ward. Oh, get a, I get a nice shutdown. I can't manage to save him, but huge gold on that one. Um, and I should have enough for my second, uh, my second large rod, which is, is huge. He manages to get a random pick on onto Echo, sitting in a bush. Now we want Baron. He has no fear that we can possibly lose this. Rangar's here. He's got to be close. He's mid. I think that was the right Baron call. I think the team's just not reacting, and maybe we should just spam ping it more. I end up healing and, sh and, and shielding the wrong person. <clears throat> it is what it is. Uh, this is a Baron. I'm begging. I'm begging the team. Please, Baron. Please. We can do this in, in 17 seconds. Please. Just Baron. I'm, I'm begging, guys. Worst case scenario, here's what to keep in mind. Okay, worst case scenario. They start walking up to Baron. Look at this, they have no idea we're even here. How do they not have vision on this? We get a free Baron. Oh, it feels so nice. Finally. I've been I've been asking for the last 15 minutes, can we? Can we do it? And finally we get it. And we should be able to get to this dragon in time. I have already. The game is turning. The tides are turning. Literally. The tides are turning. I say give. I think we are fine to give. They want to force a fight and we die on it, which is not great. I send out a terrible ult. <clears throat> but I'm here to juice up my teammates. That's all that matters. Great Cassante ulti. Yi runs in and, and just wins the game for us. I pinged to end. I think I think we can. Honestly, this game ends 15 minutes ago. I think that's accurate. If we got my first Baron call, but it doesn't work out. It doesn't always, you know, games are not always going to work out how you want them to work out. I'm not even sure if we, if we can end it off of this. We do have super minions. Their death timers are, are getting a little low. We can at least probably take another tower and then back. Um, we do a lot of damage though. This is an end. We're ending this bad boy. Um, 
Into the end of the story. Do Baron, please. I'm begging you. Just do Baron. Or don't. You know, it's whatever. All right. See you.